Okay, out there. So um, I shown you uh, my video before with the uh, Mr. Boogie Fifty Fifty that uh, had a. I found out it had a bad tube. This tube was bad, and I actually thought it was just a tube. So I just did a tube rolling on them, and um, and thought, well, it's just a bad tube. But then when I put another tube in there, it uh, turned purple quite quickly, and then I knew that something must be wrong. I did some uh, things with the negative uh, bias here. It is uh, from the schematics. Uh, there is a negative bias here that comes in, and it's set to uh, minus fifty volts. And I did a measurement here without any tubes in, and it turned out that there was a very high voltage coming from this way. But that shouldn't be possible because this uh, condenser here should block any DC. So that was short circuit. So one of the, the orange drop here, th this one actually, was short circuit. So uh, that put a uh, hundred, or I think it's something, hundred and thirty volts or something. I can't remember what what uh, the C uh, is, but uh, we can see that. Uh, see, I should have the power schematics here. Okay, C is uh, <laughs> okay. It's 430 volts here, and then, uh, yeah, okay, there'll be some division of, of the voltage, but in the end, there was over 130 volt on uh, on this pin. That means that the tube was absolutely turned on at its most. So it was, um, it was just drawing whatever current it could uh, draw from here and through. So it turned purple white quite easy. And I believe that's also why the old tube was uh, faulty, but because it simply had blown. I have made a modification. I put in a 10 ohm um, uh, resistor between the um, cathode and uh, the, the, the ground. Actually, I put it between pin uh, pin 7. It's not used. So pin, pin, between pin 7 and 8, I put a 10 ohm in. I can use that for measure my... Um, the current that flows through the tube. Um, and the 606 tube, I go for 60%. That should be roughly around, uh, with, with uh, the voltage I have, should be around 40 milliamperes. With a 10, 10 ohm, then you can add these to each other. And then you have the millivolt, it's ohm's law. And then you have 400 millivolts. So I'm supposed to measure around 400 millivolts over here. I did another modification. Um, I actually thought about splitting um, the two uh, negative biases so I could have just have one set of tubes here and another set of tubes instead of have a global uh, negative bias. But uh, I didn't like that idea. So what I put in here is a small potentiometer. And uh, where is that potentiometer <laughs> potentially? <laughs> um, if you look at this one, this is the negative bias you have here. I actually changed this um, to a 50 ohm potentiometer and put two uh, different uh, resistors uh, uh, in the bottom there. And then um, totally it, it will be uh, smaller on this, uh, but if uh, something goes wrong, it will still be at least this. <laughs> yeah, but there's two resistors on the bottom of this little board and then on top of it you see the um, you see here there is a small uh, adjustment now i think that's a relatively simple modification for this uh, without uh, changing too much i've changed all the capacitors here these one have been changed these one and these one and i've changed all the old um, uh, carbon uh, resistors uh, also there and I can tell you they were so much out of uh, tolerance that uh, yeah it was amazing how anybody can put something in there like that but that's that's changed um, so uh, now I will power it on uh, somebody have asked me about this white powder from this uh, I haven't I didn't do anything about that because it's it's just the cement of, of uh, that is uh, going out on. You can see the same issue here. Um, 
over the years. Uh, it's it's, but it doesn't matter. It, I'm 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 not scared about that part. So, uh, but so far, so uh, I will power it up. Oh no, it's enough here. I will power it up. Uh, I will put on uh, my oscilloscope, um, the one you saw the other day. Um, if you saw that one here, my picoscope, and um, and then I will start it up slowly. I'll make sure that the, the negative voltage is an as an ab absolutely maximum. And this is my negative voltage. Uh, I can show you here. We start. So let let's just put this at a. 100 volt, nothing will actually happen at 100, but nothing will happen at all. Turn it on, put it at 100 volt, and here you will see now that the negative voltage is, uh, is going on. Just let me check here that if I'm changing it, Okay, so it becomes lower, so it goes to this one. This is the absolute maximum. And this is only with 100 volts. So um, nothing will really happen here. Um, I will um, I'm have to have both hands uh, available for, for the test here. Uh, when I get it up and running, and I'm sure everything, I will uh, give you a quick review what I found and what, what is the, the, the measurements that I got, and if everything is okay. So. But uh, 200 millivolts, oh, sorry, 400 millivolts is the aim here. And you can see it's uh, it's it's uh, starting to move. The reason it's starting to move is that the, the tubes are probably getting a little bit heat. Okay, yeah. Okay, I said too much. Now I'm, I'm changing my... Okay, we have 150 volts of AC input. And now is the, just turn off the light here, so we can see something. Okay. So everything here is start to glow. And uh, the, yeah, the tubes are not that uh, constant. And the uh, voltage is relatively low, but let's see uh, what's, what's happening. I will... Um, yeah, I will stop now and I will uh, shoot another one later.